Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. So here let's look into 2024 June 2 to task 5 presentation. You are going to create a short presentation. All slides must have a consistent layout and formatting. Create a presentation of six slides. Okay, let's open PowerPoint blank presentation. Save your file first in your work area, which is your which is the folder provided to you. The file name, your center number followed by your candidate number. All right, and then here you're supposed to create a PowerPoint with six slides using the file J222 study. So this rich text format file, RTF file, must be imported into PowerPoint. So before you import, make sure the Word document, that is the RTF file, is not opened. It should not be opened. The file, if it is open, you will not be able to import it. So make sure it is closed. All right, now let's begin. Under Home tab, New Slide, Slides from Outline, from your folder, find for the file J2422 Study, Insert, and you got the file there. It has to be six slides, but here we have seven slides. So delete off slide one, which is going to be an empty slide, a blank slide. All right. All slides must display a title and a bulleted list. Make sure every slide here has a title and bulleted list. Use a master slide to display only the following features. All right, now let's open a master slide. View tab, slide master. Make sure you do the editing on the first slide in the master slide. All right, now here, a thick three to four point wide horizontal line across the full width of the slide. Position this line above the slide titles about three centimeters from top. So this, you need to measure about three centimeters. So you go to view tab, grid lines. It shows grid lines here, but we are not sure if it is three centimeter. So what we do is, you click on the setup here that is the grid grid settings that is um, under view tab beside the show here the arrow facing to the towards the bottom right you click on it and here the spacing the grid settings spacing from the list you choose one centimeter okay you choose one centimeter and then you click OK. Now here it shows each grid to be one centimeter measurement. All right. Now you go to insert tab. From shapes, you pick a line. You choose a line and then measure from the top. OK, this is about half centimeter. Might be one, two and half of the next grid. All right, so this should be about three centimeter from top. Draw a line across the width of the slide. All right, and it has to be a black color line from the shape outline. Choose black. And here the question says it has to be three to four point. So from the shape outline, weight, choose three point. All right. Now, next is they say this has to be above the slide titles, above the slide titles. Now, you see here, the slide titles are overlapping with the line we've added. So you move the content a bit down and then move the title below the line. All right, something like this should be fine, but make sure it doesn't overlap. No element should overlap any feature in the master slide. All right, so that's done. Above the line, above the line, enter the text organic crop farming. All right, aligned to the top right of the slide. All right, to this, for this, we insert a text box first. We draw a text box on the top right 
and then type in the text organic crop farming. All right, and this has to be formatted to 32 font size with a black font color. So change the font size to 32 and make sure the font color is black. And this title, the text must not wrap or overlap the line. So increase the size of the text box so that it is in one line and make sure it doesn't overlap the line. All right, next automatic slide numbers or the top left. So slide number is here, hashtag, move it to the top left. And then candidate number, center number, name, center number, and candidate number. So your footer, all right? Delete off the date, you don't need that. Now go to insert tab, header and footer, check slide number and footer, and type in your candidate details there. That is your name, center number, followed by your candidate number, apply to all. All right, so you may increase the font size or you change the color to black for your candidate details so that it's clearly visible. All right, and then uh, your candidate details appears on the design view, but your slide number, it doesn't appear. That's because we are still in the designing mode. All right, so this, uh, your candidate details is going to be fixed on all the slides. There is no changes. Uh, so it appears here in the design mode, whereas slide number, it differs from slide to slide, so it doesn't appear here. All right, make sure that master slide items appear in, F in the same position on every slide and no items overlap on any slide. Now let's check that. Now go to view and you don't need this grid line, so uncheck that. Slide master, close master view. Now make sure all the slide has all the features that we have added and it should not overlap with any of the other elements. Okay, now next, let me save the file. All right, next step. Use the data in the file, J2422 area. Okay, let's open the file, J2422 area. All right, it's an Excel file. Adjust the column so that you can see the content clearly. All right, now here to this file, you're supposed to create a vertical bar chart. This must compare the size of organic farmland by region only for the years 2013 and 2023. All right, so you highlight 2013 and 2023. Insert recommended charts use clustered column it's a vertical bar chart okay there you have all right and then the regions on the category axis okay this is the category axis the regions must be displayed so right click on it select data and the horizontal axis is where we want to make changes. So you click on the edit button and highlight the region. Click OK. OK again. And you get the data there. That is the region at the bottom. OK, next. The value ax values on the value axis. So we already have the values there on the value axis. So no changes is required. A legend showing the years. So this is the legend. 2013 and 2023 is the legend. So that has to be shown here. If this doesn't appear from the chart elements, you check legend here. All right, next. Label the chart with a chart title regional distribution of organic farmland change the chart title okay. and then value axis title to million hectares 
we, we only need the axis titles on the value axis titles. So click on the chart element, move the cursor to axis title and click on the arrow next to axis titles and click primary vertical. Okay, and click on choose primary vertical. So you get the space to add the title on the value axis million hectares. Okay, and then display only the data values above each bar from the chart element. Check data labels. You get the values there, but they say format all the data labels to display one decimal place. So highlight all the data labels. Move the cursor to data labels. Click on the arrow next to data labels choose click more options now here scroll down and choose number scroll down again change the category to number and the decimal place set it to be one decimal place and do the same for the other sector click on any one of the other sector choose change the category to number and decimal place set it to one There you have the values in one decimal place. Format the value axis scale to display. All right, right click on the value axis. Format axis. Minimum is supposed to be zero. Maximum is supposed to be 42 increments of seven. So maximum, you change it to 42. Increment is major. So change it to seven, enter. Okay, now copy the chart. Come back to PowerPoint. You're supposed to place the chart to the left of the bullet on the slide with the title Global Statistics. So Global Statistics is slide two. Move the content. The content, you move it to the right and place the chart on the left. Paste the chart on the left. Make sure the content doesn't overlap with the chart. And enlarge the chart so that the content of the chart is clearly visible. Okay. And then no words are split. All data and labels must be fully visible. Chart and its content does not overlap any slide item. So make sure all that is correct. Okay, next. Add the following text as presenter speaker notes to the title with the, to the slide with the title global statistics. So this has to be added as a presenter speaker notes. So you go to view tab, click on notes. Okay, click on notes. It gives you at the bottom uh, a space to add notes. It's stated as click to add notes. Place the cursor there and you're going to type in this. India has the most organic farmers in the world. Full stop. Okay. And then save your file. You're supposed to print only this slide as presenter speaker notes. So this is basically slide two. Go to save your file, file, print. You're supposed to print only the current slide. You choose print current slide or you can type the slide number, slide two, and choose notes page. Okay, the layout of the printout, you choose it to be notes page. So this will be your first printout. Choose the correct printer and click print. All right, and then that's one printout. Next, save the presentation and print all slides in portrait orientation with six slides to the page. So go back, file, print. You choose print all slides and from the layout, you choose six slides 
to the page you see here you have six slides you can either choose it to be horizontal or vertical so all six slides appears on one page and make sure the orientation is portrait again choose the printer and click on the print option save your file so that's the end of the paper i hope that was clear see you guys in another video thank you bye bye